it there. Yes, it worked. Say something. Banana. 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 <laughs> you elves are idiots. How's it going, Dad? Horrible. Elf number one keeps destroying the toys, and elf number two won't stop eating the tree. Hey, quit that. It'll make you sick. <sighs> I don't know how Santa does it. How am I supposed to take over Christmas with those things walking around? I might have an idea. What is it, my little Grinch? I saw these at the store. They're called... Smart bears? <gasps> that just might work. Oh, elves, I have something for you. Eat this. Oh! Banana. Sure, it's a banana. Banana. I really hope this works. My brain feels funny. I think I have trees stuck in my teeth. Gretchen, it worked. There's going to be Grinchmas after all. Okay, Dad, the elves are under control. Elf number one is working on the toys, and elf number two is working on the wrapping. Do you have any more of those smart bears? Yeah, why? I think they're gonna need more than one. Elves, time for your treat. It's banana flavored. Banana? banana? We're wasting precious time. Christmas is almost here. We still have to make all the toys. I thought of a new wrapping system that will speedline the process. Elves on two. One, two, two elves! Santa has some competition now. After this year, everyone will be begging for the Grinch to come down their chimney. All my hopes and dreams are coming true. Good job, my little Grinch. Gretchen? What, Dad, is everything okay? Everything's Grinch-tastic. Look at them. Wait, Dad, how many smart bears did you give them? Just whatever was in the bag. But that is all we had. It's fine. At this rate, they'll be finished making all the toys tonight. Let's get some rest. We have a big day tomorrow. Do you feel okay? My head is spinning. Elf two? No, 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 Elf two, step out of it. You're the smartest elf I know. Don't eat that. Banana. She must be losing brain cells. I have to reprogram her. My brain isn't working correctly. Is it this wire to this wire that makes her smarter or kills her? Elf number two, pick a color, red or green? Red. Good call. Green. It's a little late for that. Oh no, she's shutting down. And I am too. What happened? Elf number two, wake up. Oh, don't worry, I'll fix you. What happened? Why aren't you guys making toys? We found your proposal and we know all about you trying to steal Santa's job. And we don't want any part of you ruining Christmas. It's not ruining, it's reinventing. Grinchmas, where kids get toys to play tricks on each other, like whoopee cushions and live snakes. That's not what Christmas is about. And here's our resignation. You're quitting, but I made you. We are not your property, Mr. Grinch. Goodbye, and thank you for the bananas. But you have nowhere to go. Sure they do. Come on, elves, Santa's waiting for you. Holly? Bye, Gretchen, bye, Grinch. Guess we'll try again next year. Bah, humbug. Ooh, answer the questions to find your soulmate. Who is the president? Santa, duh. Oh, well, he's the president of the workshop. How fast is the speed of light? Easy. That's how fast Santa's sleigh goes. 186,000 miles per second. Ooh, I got a letter. Next question. What is the fastest growing bone on an animal? Easy, the antler. I'm gonna get my soulmate in no time. Only two more to go. What is your father's name? Papa Elf. Something's wrong with this machine. First it said Santa wasn't president and now it's saying Papa Elf isn't my father. Papa Elf, I'm trying to answer these soulmate questions, and it's saying you're not my dad. Candy Cane, there's something I have to tell you. I'm not actually an elf. Is that why I have to wear these fake ears and I'm three feet taller than everyone? Yes, Candy Cane, that's exactly why. Then who is my father? Paul Jacobson from New York. Paul Jacobson? What kind of lame name is that? I hope you understand, Papa Elf, but I feel like I have to go to New York to find this Paul Jacobson guy. He might even know who the president is. Apparently it's not Santa. Don't tell him, though. 
I understand, Candy Cane. Good luck on this new journey. I'll miss you. Paul Jacobson? Has anyone here seen a Paul Jacobson? Hey you, no yelling. I'm not yelling. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are too. Paul Jacobson. No singing either. Someone's getting cold for Christmas. I could have swore someone was calling my name. Paul? Yeah. Jacobson? That's me. I'm your daughter, Candy Cane. Nice to meet ya. Impossible, I don't have a daughter. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You and Eloise had me back in 1990. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Security, take her away. What? Stop! Don't touch me! <laughs> Jingle bells, Paul Jacobson smell. <laughs> hey, is everything okay? I saw what happened back there. I just met my dad for the first time, and he didn't even believe it was me. Huh, I wonder why. I'm Buddy. Candy cane. Like the candy? Like the cane. Maybe he didn't believe you because you're in a costume. What are you talking about? Everyone wears this at the North Pole. Yeah, but nobody wears that in New York. Come with me. I look ridiculous. I agree. The hat needs to go. The hat's not the problem. Well, let's see what Paul Jacobson thinks. Come on. Thanks for coming with me. There was no way I was letting you Uber alone. Hey, I would have managed. How were you going to pay for this? Candy? Life-saving candy. This is my whole allowance at the North Pole. They don't accept that. Hey, you better clean all that up back there. Hey, did you get your soulmate questions? Yeah, but I'm stuck on my last one. What is it? How many toys does Santa make? <laughs> What's so funny? Easy. 100 billion, 500 million, 200,000, and 68. Wait, that worked. I told you. Let me guess, you completed yours. No, I'm stuck on my last one too. What is it? Who's the president of the United States? Joe Biden. It worked. Candy cane, I think you're mine. And we're here. Come on, let's go. I hope your plan works. Me too. Paul Jacobson? Leave me alone, Candy. Wait, I know you might not have taken me seriously at first, but I am your daughter. Come on in, both of you. So let me get this straight. Elise had you over 20 years ago? Yes, at least that's what Papa Elf told me, and he never lies. Well, maybe you can spend the night tonight so we can get to know each other. But only one night. Really? Yeah, we'll make up the guest bedroom. Holly jolly Christmas. Thank you, Paul. Can I call you dad? No. Thank you for helping me, buddy. Do you need some candy to pay for your ride back home? Thanks, Candy Cane, but I think I'll manage. There was something, um... What? Um... What is it? I think you... Come here. Whoa. <laughs> buddy, what was that? That was a kiss, because I'm pretty sure you're my soulmate. So that's what a soulmate means. So that's my story on how I found out that Santa is not the president. Paul Jacobson from NYC is my real dad and kissing is a lot of fun. My soulmate's name arrived. Hmm, let me guess. Oh, I got one. Oh, I hope it's the Easter Bunny son. We'd have the cutest snow bunnies. Did someone say snow bunnies? Dad! Yes, I think I saw one over there. Aw, uh, I don't see any. Uh, I must have missed it. Well, my snowflake, are you ready for our morning frost? Three, two, one. There's nothing like a fresh frost over the city. Everything looks so sparkly. Oh, Dad, I forgot to tell you. I got my soulmate's letters. Impossible. I'll contact Mother Nature. You're too young for that, my little frost. I'm almost 19, Dad. It's about time I met my soulmate. Ah, uh, humbug. Okay, okay. Who is it? Well, I haven't guessed it yet. Well, let me know when you do, so I can give him a good frost. Dad? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It really might be the Easter Bunny son, Alfonso. Let me guess, H. <gasps> oh, my icicles! Snow bunnies, here I come! Oh, Jackie, hey! Hi, Alfonso! Someone's awfully hoppy this morning. Oh, yeah. I got my soulmate's name today. No way! I did too. You did? Yes. Here, would you like to meet her? Nini, come over here. But you can't have two soulmates. I don't. Yes, because I'm your soulmate. Hi, I'm Nini. It's nice- Not to now, Nini. Oh. 
<gasps> My nostrils! Jackie, you can't just frost people. That's not cool. What's not cool is you two-timing two girls. Wait, so you got my name? Yes! Well, at least I think. I haven't guessed it completely. Hurry up and guess it. We need to figure this out. Fine, I will. A. What is it? Is it my name? Oopsies. I guess you're not my soulmate. Jackie. It was so nice meeting you, Nini. Some hot tea should unthaw your nostrils. If it's not the Easter Bunny's son, then who could it be? R? Hmm. What about I? I can't think of a single name with those letters. You know what that means. Rapid ice time. T. D. P. S. Yes. M. N. Another one. Wait a minute. I think I might know whose name this is. Yellow Snow. My dad is not going to be happy if this is who I think it is. Is the name Nicholas? No! Jackie, is everything okay? Everything's perfectly frosty. I just forgot something at the market. I'll be back. I can't believe my soulmate is Santa's son. I have to find him. No one can know about this. Where are you going in such a hurry? Nicholas. Yes? I was off to see you, actually. So you finally guessed my name, huh? Took you long enough. Your name is oddly hard to guess. It has lots of vowels. Okay, okay, that's fair. Now that you've guessed it, come on, follow what? me. What? Why? So we can go on our first date. I already have everything planned. But aren't you worried about our dads finding out? Our history isn't all milk and cookies. Jackie, of course I'm worried. But I'm just taking you on a harmless date. It's not like I'm asking you to marry me. Right. Yet. Oh, my dad is going to have a frost attack when he finds out you're my soulmate. It's just a little further. Hey, <laughs> did you just throw a snowball at me? Maybe. Oh, you are going to get it, Jackie Frost. <laughs> hey, Jackie Frost. Dad. Jack, what is this? Getting all frosty with the enemy? Dad, he's not the enemy. You and Santa are on good terms now. If living on opposite sides of the pole and never speaking is considered good, why are you two getting all cozy together? Dad, Nicholas is my soulmate. Your what? No, this can't be happening. Jackie, maybe I should go. No, he's going to have to find out eventually. Just let him get a little cold-headed out here where he can't hurt anyone. Snowflake, listen to me. The clauses are bad news. They steal all the winter thunder. Kids don't even learn about frost anymore. It's Christmas this and Christmas that and it makes me want to- Dad, <laughs> calm down. Deep breaths. What's happening? Quiet, Nicholas. Dad, we can talk about this. It's gonna be okay. I promise. It makes me Nicholas, want Nicholas, get behind me. <laughs> Dad? Look what you did! What in the jingle bells just happened? That was a frost attack. Come on, we have to get into the city to see the damage. Dad, I'll see you tonight when you warm up a bit. Oh, humbug. Oh, this is bad. The streets are completely ice. No one's going to be able to leave their house for weeks. This will take forever to thaw. Nicholas, forget people leaving their house. My dad froze people. Dad? Not now, my snowflake. Your frost attack was worse than it has ever been. Good. I hope it ruins Christmas. Well, you definitely did. You froze people. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see the look on Santa's face when he hears about that. You have to unfreeze them. Please, they'll thaw in a few weeks. It'll be fine. They'll start the new year fresh. Why are you being like this? Because I'm Jack Frost, Jackie. And that's what Frosts do. I wish you were more like me. <sighs> Jackie, hey, hey, are you okay? Yeah. Maybe we can talk to Santa, see if there's something he can do. Hopefully he takes the news a little bit better than your dad. Jack Frost did what? And you still want to date her? Dad, it's her father, not her. Jackie is really nice. Is she? Hmm. Well, not nice enough to make it on the nice list every year, huh, Jackie? I had a few missteps as a kid, but I made it on the list last year. <sighs> Barely. I can't even talk about this right now. I need to figure out how we're going to unfreeze the entire city before Christmas. You do think you'll be able to unfreeze them though, right? I don't know, Jackie. Frost is your father's expertise, not mine. I think it's best if I go back and talk to my dad alone. Besides, Santa clearly needs your help here. Okay, but maybe we can FaceTime and hot cocoa tonight? Deal. 
Dad? Are you crying? No, no, just a little snow melted on my face, that's all. What's wrong? I know I'm losing you, my little snowflake, and I don't want to. You're not losing me. Am I starting a new chapter? Yes, but I'll always be there for our morning frost. Why couldn't your soulmate have been anyone else? I don't want to be around that walking red flag ever. Nicholas isn't his dad, just like I'm not you. You might like him if you give him a chance. I doubt it. But in the meantime, you have to unfrost the city. I don't want Christmas to be ruined because of me. I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. You're Jack Frost. You can do anything. To unfrost a frost, you have to inhale it. But with that much frost being inhaled, I'd freeze. I would die, Jackie. Any luck getting your dad to unfrost it? Not yet. Did Santa find out anything? He said according to legend to unfrost a frost, a frost must be inhaled. It's the only way to save Christmas. Great. But he also found out one other thing. What? Humans can only be frozen for 24 hours, or their hearts might never unfreeze. So we have approximately three hours to unfrost the city, or... Or there will be no more New York City. I have to go. Dad, what are you doing? I overheard your conversation with Nicholas. You were eavesdropping? I have to do this, Jackie. I got us into this mess. I have to unfreeze the freeze. But you'll die! If I don't, the city will die. Come on, we can talk about this. Jackie, what's going on? Nicholas, what are you doing here? You hung up so abruptly, I had to come see you. Nicholas, hold on to my dad. Okay, but why? Nicholas, don't you touch because me. Because Get your he's hands not going off to of like me. This. Nicholas, Claus, let go. I'm really sorry, sir. I can't. She told me not to. Nicholas, I'm serious. She's inhaling the frost. It will kill her. Wait, what? So let go. Jackie, stop. Jackie, no! Wait, Jack, look! The city's unfrozen! Yes, Nicholas, but Jackie's frozen! This is all my fault. No, Nicholas, it's my fault. Mistakes happen, Jack. Frost happens. Jackie chose to do this. She had the warmest heart. I can see you two would have been good together. Yeah, I just wish I could have had the chance to say, I love you, Jackie Frost. Nicholas! She's undying. Her ice is melting. That's it. A heart full of love can never be frozen. No, Jackie. Dad. My little frost. Did you happen to hear what I... I love you too. <laughs> the frosty chocolates are almost done, but first, Jackie, I wanted to give you this. What's this? I've decided to retire the frost. What? I don't want to ever put you in that position again, my little snowflake. So I'm giving you all of my frost. Well, most of it. I'm keeping a little bit so I can still make some frozen meals. A man's gotta eat. But every winter storm, every frosty morning will be up to you, my not-so-little frost. So, Nick, don't piss her off or she might frost your you-know- Okay, off. Dad, that's enough. Thank you, Dad, but you don't have to give up your frost. I do, because now you'll have enough frost to birth frost babies, not little clauses. Okay, now I know why you're really doing this. But since we are merging the families, can I just throw out a name change? Frostmas? I've always wanted it. Well, Jackie, hurry up. Open it up. <laughs> Where are you taking me? You promise you can't see anything? I can't. But where are we going? Somewhere. I just don't want you knocking this out of my hand. Knock what? This. Nicholas Claus, is that what I think it is? Jackie Frost, after almost losing you once, I never want to lose you again. Will you marry me? I thought you'd never ask. <gasps> Look, Santa, can we go say hi? No. Why not? He's lactose intolerant and drinks 50 gallons of milk a day. You don't want to get cross. Daddy, how come you're so- What did I tell you about calling me? Daddy! It makes you sound weak. Sorry, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> that's my little spice. Keep not believing. That's the spirit. All right, class, let's go around the room and say what we're all doing for Christmas. Ooh, can I go first? Go ahead, Nicholas. I'm gonna help my dad load up the sleigh and donate gifts to the shelters. That's wonderful, Nicholas. Anyone else wanna share? Go ahead, Gretchen. I'm going- She's probably gonna destroy decor like her dad. No, I wouldn't do that. Of course you would. You're a Grinch. Yeah, do you even care about Christmas? No, they don't. <laughs> What's wrong, my little booger? I don't want to talk about it. Are you going to DD tonight? Destroy decor? Of course. 
It's a week before Christmas. Can I come? Really? You've never wanted to go with me before. I changed my mind. That's my little Grinch. <coughs> You've got a lot of Grinch in you. I'm so proud. <coughs> Let's go burn down the city tree in honor of you no longer believing in Christmas. You can do the honor. It's breaking. Dad, move! Uh-oh. Someone help! Please! Dad! Help! Oh! Psst, look who it is. I heard she pushed her dad into a burning tree. I heard she mistaked her dad for a tree. For the last time, I don't want visitors. Gretchen, my name's Molly. We need to talk. You got your hair cut. I cut it myself. Mr. Grinch never liked the long hair anyways. I see. Do you have any family or friends nearby that you'd be able to stay with? No, I'm perfectly fine alone. Gretchen, you're only 16, so if there's not an adult in your family that can take care of you, you're going to have to go to foster care. So is there anyone you know? Holly, unfortunately, our foster care is full. Angie, I know that's not true. Holly, her believability score is a zero, and I heard she's an arsonist. She won't fit in here. Gretchen, I... It's fine. We tried. I just have to stay at my dad's house alone. Boo-hoo. Your dad's house is getting put up for sale. You can't stay there, Gretchen. Well, I heard the playground has a super comfy slide, so you can find me there. You can stay with me until we find a more permanent place. Holly, please. I know you don't want that. Well, here we are. You live on the north side? Yeah. But that means you're related to... Santa. He's my uncle. I cannot stay here. That's like a major disgrace to Christmas. It's fine, Gretchen. He accepts everyone, even those that don't believe. Ho, 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 Holly, who is this? Gretchen Grinch. She's going to stay with us through the holiday. I'll show you to your room, Gretchen. Go ahead. You know, Gretchen, I don't bite. You don't have to walk so far behind me. No offense, sir, but I know about your milk obsession and your lactose intolerant problem. It's best I keep my distance. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! I didn't even know I was lactose intolerant. This is our guest bedroom. The elves can help you find anything you might need. Uh, Gretchen, I'm sorry to hear about your father. He was a good man. Thanks. Good night, Gretchen. You go in. No, you. No, Santa said for you to check on her. Boom. Ah! <laughs> Hi, Gretchen. We are Evie and Emmy. Santa's Alps, we wanted to see if you needed anything. No, and you don't have to check up on me. Actually, Santa said we did. Well, I said no. Now go away. Okay. Go away. Hi, Gretchen. Nick? You know you scared the elves away. None of them want to come up and check on you. Well, I don't need to be checked on. Fine, but some advice? Be nice to the people who are trying to help you. I know that's hard for you. I heard what your friend said about me. What? That you think I killed my dad? Is that what you think too? No. And I'm sorry they said that. Come with me. Why? Do you trust me? <laughs> Aren't you going to get in trouble for this? Nah, I told him this was a pre-Christmas maintenance check. <gasps> Everything seems so small from up here. Yeah, kind of like the little things people say about you doesn't matter, right? Thank you for showing me this. You're welcome. Whoa, boy. Santa's calling us. We better get back. Thanks, Nick, for the ride. Anytime. I'm sorry again for what my friends said about you. If it's okay with you, I'd like to go talk to the elves. Of course. I know they'll like that. Evie? Elves? I'm sorry I was mean to you guys earlier. I'm just... I'm kind of going through a rough time right now, but... I know you guys were just trying to help. It's okay, Gretchen. We forgive you. You will? Yeah! That's what Christmas spirit is all about. Hi, Gretchen. Hey, Holly. Wow, less than a week here and you already believe in Christmas. I know. What's wrong? It's just, my father would be so disappointed. I really let him down. Gretchen, there's something I want to show you. Here. What is this? Your father's believability score. He believed in Christmas? Not always, but ever since you were born, he did. You changed him. I wonder why he never told me. 
Sometimes people act a certain way to make others think they're strong, but believing doesn't make you weak, Gretchen. In fact, you can find a lot of strength letting a little magic into your heart. I already feel less alone by you guys showing me so much kindness. You're never alone, Gretchen. You always have a home here at the North Pole. Merry Christmas, Gretchen. Merry Christmas, Holly. <clears throat> Send this back. It doesn't pass quality control. What are you doing? What? It broke in like two seconds. Yeah, you played way too rough with it. Kids play rough. Not like that. Uh, since when do we have a naughty and nice score? New protocol. Santa's requiring the elves this year to be sorted into the naughty and nice list. But we were exempt before. Yeah, but lately there's been a lot of reports of elves being naughty around here. What, they didn't put extra chocolate in his hot cocoa? No, they broke toys. Santa, this is ridiculous. You've never had the elves be scored before. True, but it was unfair of me to not hold my elves to the same standards as the rest of civilization. It's not unfair. It's wise. You have faith that your elves are the very, very, very best. Which we are. Then there should be no problem with them making it on the nice list. And any elves on the naughty list by Christmas Eve tomorrow will be fired. Fired? That doesn't mean we would be sent to civilization, does it? Yes, Edel, that's exactly what that would mean. But it's impossible for elves to get jobs over there. Then I suggest all elves make it on the nice list. You can go now. This is ridiculous. I am a nice person. I should be able to solve this faster than you can say Christmas cookie. Hey, Edel, I could really use your help with something. Not now, Doris. I'll give you some help once you fix your eyebrows. Please, it's really important. I mean... Anything for you, Doris. What do you want? Vixen is having horrible diarrhea and won't take his pill, but he loves you. Could you help us? Yeah, good luck with that. This is serious. Christmas depends on it. If he's not better by Christmas Eve, he won't be able to fly. It could be worth a lot of nice points. Fine, I'll help you. Come on, Vixen, just eat the pill. Um, Edel, the pill doesn't go in that end. What end does it? No. I know, Vixen. I don't want to be doing this either. Oh! Now I know why you didn't want to do that. Oh. Only 25%? That should have been worth way more. Help! Someone help! Anyone! What is it? There's a fire in the kitchen. Oh no, hand me the fire extinguisher. The what? The candy cane colored thing. <laughs> it's out. Is everyone okay? Yes, thank you, Edel. Hey, do you happen to know the time? 11 p.m. It's almost Christmas Eve. I only have one more hour to make it on the nice list. Santa's going to kill us. It wasn't my fault. Yes, hey, it... hey, hey, what's going on in here? Anita messed up the order and now all the toys for the Portland area are mislabeled. Well, Louise was rushing me. Enough! We need to load Santa's sleigh in one hour. We don't have time for this nonsense. You girls are being incredibly stupid. But we all make mistakes. Louise, hand me that list. Here's what we're gonna do. That was the last one. 1201, we did it. Good job, girls. Hurry, we gotta get to the Christmas Eve party. Edel, come on. I'll meet you there. I didn't make it. I'm gonna be sent to civilization. Thank you everyone for another successful Christmas. But unfortunately, not every elf made it onto the nice list this year. The following elves will be asked to leave tonight. Seymour Butts, Anita Bath, Ivana Tinkle, and Edel. Please say your goodbyes and Merry Christmases. Santa, wait. You don't understand. If it weren't for Edel, we wouldn't be having Christmas this year. That's all great to hear, but even with all that, she was more naughty than nice this year. Guys, stop. It's okay. I'm on the naughty list. But she saved Christmas. She helped give Vixen his diarrhea medicine. And put out the fire in the kitchen. And helped us when the toys got missorted. Edel, is that true? I did my best, Santa, and I'm trying to be better. I really want to be on the nice list. After hearing all this... I think you're deserving of a second chance. Merry Christmas, Edel. You can stay. Really? Yes. What about me, Santa? Most definitely not, Pat Myaz. Merry Christmas, Edel. Cassie, have you been studying? Of course, Santa. Because this test is extremely, extremely important. important. And if I don't get it right, then I have to do summer school at the North Pole again. 
You know, Dad, I actually like summer school. I look forward to it every year. Cassie, summer school was the punishment for the last 18 years. This is your final test. If you fail the Finish the Lyric Challenge again this year, I'll disappear forever. Disappear? Yes, part of Santa's job is to have a family that will pass on the Christmas traditions. This is your final test to prove I did my job. And you don't think you should have mentioned that, <clears throat> I don't know, before? Cassie, they tell you every year in summer school. Oh, right. Looks like it's time for you to take your test. Good luck. Santa, wait. You don't think we could, like, postpone it a week or something? I could really use the extra time to study. Cassie, please tell me you're going to be able to complete all these. I'm just pulling your beard. It'll be fine. You can count on me. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Oh, Father Christmas, Santa's going to disappear because of me. Hmm. Well, on the first day, she got a turtle. The second day, she got rings. The third day, she got a polar bear. Yeah, that sounds right. On the fourth day, she got golden geese. And on the fifth day, she got chocolate. And on the sixth day, she got... <sighs> Reindeer poop. I really should have paid attention in Holiday Songs 101. Evie, you know that song where she gets gifts for like 10 days of Christmas? You mean 12 days of Christmas? Yes. What does she get on the sixth day? Sorry, Cassie. Santa told me you had your test today, and I'm not allowed to help you. Ugh, of course he did. Comet, oh, Comet, you're looking mighty dapper today. Hey, how about we play a game? Santa told you to? Fine, I'll figure it out myself. What happened to helping people during the holidays? Well, I can't get this wrong. If I do, Santa will disappear forever. Here goes nothing. Six dancing ladies? <gasps> oh my hot cocoa. I got it wrong on the first try? Did Santa disappear already? Am I even going to be able to say goodbye? Cassie? Are you a ghost? Are you haunting me? No. Why would you... Cassandra Claus, did you get one of them wrong? Maybe. Well, luckily you have to guess three wrong for me to disappear. But do me a favor, don't get any more wrong. That was just a warm-up. I'm going to get... All the other ones right, I promise. You better. Voices singing, let's be jolly. <gasps> this is from Joy to the World, right? I love this song. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out with some thinking. I don't actually think this is from Joy to the World. I don't know what it's from, but I do know the lyrics. Voices singing, let's be jolly. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Christmas cookie, I got one. Santa, tell me if you're really there. You know, if you would have made these all of Ariana Grande songs, I would have completed this challenge Christmases ago. Don't make me fall in love again if you won't be here next year. <gasps> yes, I knew listening to Ariana on repeat would come in handy eventually. Okay, let's keep this win streak going. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. Everyone at the North Pole knows this one. It's Santa's shower song and he sings it loud and proud every morning. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I am on a Christmas dinner roll. Someday soon we all will be together. Oh, I know this one. It's, it's, yeah, I got nothing. Maybe if I try singing it, it'll come to me. Someday soon, we will all be together like a family. Cassie, what on earth are you doing? Singing Christmas carols? You have no idea how that song goes, do you? No, but maybe you could help me. I can't, but I will tell you this. That's not how it goes. <sighs> Thanks, Evie. I just gotta hope for the best so I can move on to the next one. Someday soon, we'll all be together if the weather allows. Spoiled milk. I can't get any more wrong or, or... Santa will disappear forever. How's it going, Cassie? Dad, it's going great. I'll be finished with this challenge in no time. I knew I could count on you. Let me know when you're all done with the challenge. I will. Oh, and Cassie? Yeah? I'm proud of you. Well, he shouldn't be. Because if I get one more wrong, 
He'll be gone forever. What fun it is to ride and sing. Come on, Cassie, you can do this. Five more to go. A slang song tonight? <gasps> yes! Oh, it is game time now. He was made of snow. This is one of my favorites. But the children know how he came to life one day. Edel, are you sure you bought the right size ornaments this year? I saw mommy kissing Santa underneath the mistletoe last night. Yes, I only have two more to go. Wait, Cassie, oh, we need that. Okay, go. All I want for Christmas is my, is this the hippopotamus or is that the other one? I'm gonna have to go with two front teeth. And to think people doubted me. Okay, I'm on to the last one. Finish the verse? Like the full verse? I really hope I can do that. I don't want a lot for Christmas. This sounds familiar, but I have no idea. Evie, please, I'm getting so close. I'm on the last one. I just need the smallest hint. Cassie, I've been telling you all day, I- I know, but the future of Santa depends on this. I have to get this right. The music lives within you, Cassie. After all, you're Santa's daughter. You can do this. You're right. I just need to think, believe, and trust. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. Keep going, Cassie. You got this. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. You did it, Cassie. Hooray! Good job. Dad, I did it. I just listened to my Christmas heart, and now you won't disappear. Good job, Cassie. I'm so proud of you. But what do you say, elves? Should we tell her? Tell me what? I wasn't actually going to disappear. Wait, what? The elves and I really wanted you to take the challenge seriously this year, so we told a little white lie. After all, having to repeat Christmas songs 101 at 21 is a little embarrassing. Now you can move on to 102 next year, with all the other eight-year-olds. Oh, Santa. You're getting cold for Christmas. Come on, Vixen. Adel, Adel! Santa needs you in the workshop immediately. Well, Santa's gonna have to wait. I'm in the middle of giving Vixen his anti-diarrhea medicine. Santa's not gonna like that. He seemed very upset. Fine, then you can do it. Oh, and Evie, yeah? no matter what you do, don't get too... <laughs> Close. Santa, is everything okay? Edel, there you are. Something is very wrong at the North Pole. What do you mean? I'll show you. Look at this candy cane. This is one very large candy cane, sir, but I think it's gonna be okay. The machine probably malfunctioned. That's what I thought too, until I put on my socks this morning. They've completely shrunken. Have you ever seen socks so tiny? I can't say I have. Things are becoming all out of sorts. Edel, something is happening here at the North Pole and it is very, very bad. But what would cause this? Nothing like this has ever happened before. I know, it can only mean one thing. What is it, Santa? Someone here at the North Pole doesn't believe in Christmas. <gasps> so let me get this straight. All of this chaos is happening because one person doesn't believe in Christmas? The North Pole runs off pure Christmas spirit. Even one non-believer running around here could make the whole place shut down. Edel, you helped save Christmas last year. I need your help again this year before Christmas is ruined forever. Okay, you can count on me, Santa. I'll tell the other elves. No, no one can know about this. If the other elves find out, there would be complete madness. We have to keep this between us. Understood? Here's the health of the North Pole. The lower the bar gets, the more things go wrong. Right now, we're doing okay. A few extra large candy canes and super small socks never hurt anyone. But Edel, if we don't find the non-believer and get them out of the North Pole before the health bar hits zero, Christmas will be ruined forever. Hey Evie, come here for a second. What's up, Edel? It worked! Whoa, what's that? Just something to help Santa detect Christmas spirit. Nothing to worry about. What was that? It's coming from the Christmas tree room. 
What in the jingle bells? Edel, the strangest thing happened. We were decorating the Christmas tree, and then all of a sudden, the ornaments started growing, and the tree started shrinking. This is really, really bad. Help! I'm stuck under this ornament. Help! Evie, come help me, will you? Three, Three two, two, one! I'm alive! Are you okay, Seymour? Yeah, that was really scary. Someone needs to get Santa no, right away. No, no one calls Santa. Just, here, put the ornaments away and get in line. Why? I'm gonna scan you with a new device I'm working on. Believe, 100%. Huh. Everyone here believes. Edel, is there something you're not telling us? Why are you scanning all the elves? And why didn't you want to tell Santa? Because Santa already knows about this. Things are growing and shrinking because someone at the North Pole doesn't believe in Christmas. <gasps> everyone needs to take a chill cookie and calm down. This is exactly why Santa didn't want everyone to know. Christmas is in three days, and if we lose focus now, we'll never get everything done in time. Everyone just needs to go back to work and try not to panic. I got this. Everything is under control. you're gonna want to see. What now, Evie? It's in the reindeer stables. Follow me. I went to give Vixen his afternoon medicine and I came into this. Evie, where are all the reindeer? They're right here. <gasps> Evie, someone could step on them. You need to put them in a safer spot. Okay. <gasps> Evie, please tell me that wasn't what I think it was. It wasn't. I dropped my bag of chips on the ground when I saw the reindeer earlier. I just stepped on them. Things are getting really bad at the North Pole. Can you take care of the reindeer? I need to find Santa. Edel, there you are. Not now, buddy. I'm in the middle of something. I need your help, though. Santa asked us to hang the stockings, but the stockings are, well, too big to be hung. <sighs> Not these two. Just hang them anyways. We need all the Christmas cheer we can get right now. Cassie, have you seen Santa? No, I think he's at the hot cocoa bar. Are you okay, Edel? Someone at the North Pole doesn't believe in Christmas. And with the amount of chaos it's causing, I think it might be him. You think Santa doesn't believe in Christmas? It's the only thing that makes sense. I built this believe detector and tried it out on all the elves, and all of them believe. I'm gonna try it out on Santa next. But before I do, can I try it out on you too? Of course. You know, that does explain why there was a giant snowman in the hallway today. You believe, Cassie. Edel, what are you going to do if my dad doesn't believe? I haven't thought about that yet. Well, let's hope he does. <sighs> Santa, there you are. Edel, did you find the non-believer? Not yet, and I've checked all the elves, all the reindeer, and Cassie. Everyone believes, Santa. I don't understand. That's impossible. But there is one person I haven't checked. Who? Santa, I haven't checked you. Me? Yes. Well then, go ahead, Edel. Check my Christmas spirit. And if it's time for me to retire, then so be it. Believe. 100%. It's not you. Well, thank goodness for that. Edel, the sleigh and all the presents have shrunken down. Things are getting so small, they're going to start disappearing. Santa, I don't know what to do anymore. The North Pole health is almost at 0%. And you said you checked everyone. Everyone and everything. But did you check you, Edel? Me? Well, sure, you just checked me. Did you check you? No, I didn't. I think we know what we have to do. Does not believe. I'm the one who's been ruining Christmas? That can't be true. I believe in Christmas. I've dedicated my entire life to the North Pole. I'm head elf, captain of the elf football team, I volunteer at the elf shelter, and... What is it, Edel? And I've been working so hard and feeling so tired that I guess some days I did wish that there was no more Christmas. But I didn't mean it. It's just with all the toy making and Christmas cookie baking. There's never time for anything else. Edel, it sounds to me like you need a vacation. A little break away from the North Pole so you could experience things besides Christmas. You wouldn't be mad, Santa? Not even a little. You're a hard worker, Edel, and the North Pole will be waiting for you when you're ready to return. How's your vacation, Edel? So good. Did you know they have something called pina coladas here? Don't tell Santa, but it's way better than his frozen hot cocoa. How's everything at the North Pole? Great. Everything went back to normal just in time for Christmas. 
We sure do miss you though. I think I'm ready to come home. I'm feeling so refreshed and I never thought I'd say this, but I miss the cold. It's so hot here, the sun is torture. Well, as long as your belief score is 100%, you can come back. Belief, 100%. All right, Vixen, let's head home. 100% naughty? Is this some kind of joke? Are you talking to me, Cassie? No, Elfie. I'm just talking to myself. You sure do that a lot. I... Cassie, can you come here for a sec? Coming! Dad, you know you could just send an elf to get me instead of yelling my name down the hall. Cassie, call me Santa. I'm on the clock. I was wondering if you got your soulmate score yet. Not yet, Santa. Well, let me know what it is as soon as you get it. Aren't you supposed to know everything? You don't already know who my soulmate is? Miss Sassy, it's not too late to be on the naughty list. I'll let you know when I find out. Thank you. Oh, and can you go help the elves? There seems to be a problem in the toy room. Yeah, of course. We don't have any of the Squishmallows? Where could they have all gone? We don't know, Cassie. Let's see here. I might be able to help you with that. Griffin. Griffin Grinch. Give us back the toys. I'm afraid I can't do that. It's part of the job, being the mean one. Elves. Give us some space. So you wanted alone time. Does that mean you know you're my- Don't say it. Fine, I won't say that I'm your you know what. The system made a mistake. We could never be together. Santa would kill us both. Isn't that kind of romantic though? A forbidden love? Oh please, this is not love. Well, not yet. We just found out we're soulmates. Just give us back the toys. Sorry, Cassie, no can do. But have fun telling Santa your boyfriend ruined Christmas. You're not my boyfriend. Dad, all the Squishmillers are gone. We checked twice. What? How could this have happened? Did someone take them? We may have reason to believe it was the Grinch's son, Griffin. Really? Why do you think that? Because he came to gloat. And you didn't call me? Oh. There was no time. He was in and out so fast. Cassie, I need you to handle this. Go there and get him to give the toys back. Me? Yeah, you. Dad, I- Christmas is a week away. They need me here. Please, Cassie. The children are depending on you. Cassie, I wasn't expecting you so soon. Let me guess, it was my irresistible smile. I came for the toys, not you. Don't flatter yourself. Uh-huh, sure. Come on in. Just give us back the toys. Why? Because I said so. Sorry, can't- Ow! Ow! Are you ow, okay? ow! 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 I must have twisted my ankle on your crooked floor. <sighs> How does it feel? Hurts. Here, I brought you some snow. Thanks. Your nice score went up. Yeah, it- uh, You like me. Do not. Do too. Do not. Do too. Okay, fine. Sorry. Unless that was okay. Santa's so gonna kill me. Cassandra Claus. Dad? Santa? Grinch. I can explain. I'm waiting. He's my soulmate. Your soulmate, huh? <laughs> What'd you do? Steal all the toys with him too? What? Of course not! No! I cannot believe you would disrespect me like that. You're no longer allowed at the North Pole. Are you serious? Effective immediately. I knew he'd be mad, but accusing me of stealing the toys? Only a heartless person would steal Christmas toys! Hey now. And that's exactly what you are. Heartless. I can't believe I let you trick me into falling in love with you. Cassie, where are you going? I don't know. Anywhere but here. Don't follow me. You can't stay out here all night. How'd you find me? Followed the candy tears. There was a lot of them. Your nice score went up again. You're out of touch with your Grinch side. Yeah, I fell for a girl who brings out the best in me. There you go with all that sweet talk again. I returned all the toys back to Santa. You did? Yeah, and I told him I'd stay away from you. The elves are here to take you home. Hi, Cassie. You can get back to the North Pole tonight. So if I go back with them, I'll never see you again? Yeah, that's the deal I made with your dad. But I don't want to go back without you. Cassie, please. I screwed things up enough. Plus, just because we're soulmates doesn't mean we're meant to be. I have an idea. Dad, I know you made a deal with Griffin, but Santa's supposed to forgive people and Griffin's proven that he wants to change. Hmm. How did you get so wise? I got it from you. Fine, he can be here. But no kissing. Ever. Dad! Around me. Listen, if you break my daughter's heart, you'll be having coal in more places than just your stocking. Understood, sir. And thank you.